Before watching this video, I would recommend you to watch my previous video which is about continuous backup work. Then only you will be able to understand skip gram. Now let's discuss about skip gram. In continuous backup words, we try to predict the center word using the nearby words. But in skip gram, we try to predict nearby words using the center word. How? Let's see. The very first step is we have to concatenate all the sentences so that it will become one single sentence. And the second step is we have to choose a window size. Let's say the window size is 1 in this case. And the third step is we have to get one out encoding for each and every unique words. Let's do it. To get one art encoding, simply we have to take all the unique words from the corpus and we need to give some unique index value for each and every word. Then simply put 1 in the corresponding index position and 0 in the remaining places. This is the one art encoding for this particular corpus. And the next step is we have to prepare training data. Let's see how to prepare training data. If the window size is 1, then in the first sample, the input word will be product and the target words will be the and is. So this is how we have to prepare training data for skip gram. Similarly, in the second sample, is will be your input word and a product and really will be your target words. That's it. This is our training data. And the final step will be training the model. Let's see how to train the model. For training the model, we need these two information, one art encoding and training data. Let's take the first sample. So where product is the input word and the is the target word. Let's take their corresponding one art vectors and let's feed it into the model. If you look at the model architecture, it is just a three layer neural network. One input layer, one hidden layer and one output layer. If you look at the input layer, it has seven neurons. Why? Because the input dimension is one cross seven. That is why it has seven neurons. And in the hidden layer, we have five neurons. Why it is 5? It is not necessarily to be 5 exactly. It could be any number. Actually, I want the word embedding dimension to be 1 cross 5. That is why I kept 5 here. And in the output layer, we have 7 neurons. Why? Because there are totally 7 unique words in the corpus. That is why we have 7 neurons in the output layer. That's it. If we feed this input vector to the model, we will get the predicted value. Then we have to compare the predicted value with actual to get loss. Based on the loss, we have to back propagate through all the layers and we have to update all the weight parameters. Finally, at the end of the training process, here we will get a weight matrix which is of size 5 cross 7. It would look like this. This is the actual word embedding which we are interested in. Now what we can do is we can take the one art encoding of the corpus and we can multiply it with the transposed version of this weight matrix then we will get the actual word embedding for the entire corpus. This is the idea behind skip gram. 